Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm going to get this back and hopefully I'm not going to know if I'm lined up yet until I see it over here. So let's see how long it takes. So say hey when you jump on and let me know who's watching so I can tell you hello. And let's see how long this is going to take. How is everybody doing today? Oh, it's pretty quick. Pretty quick. There we go. Okay, now let's see if I'm lined up okay. I think that looks pretty good other than my head chopped off. But let's see if I pulled it back yet. So, what's everybody been doing today? I have been working on this craft room. I bought me a shelf and put it together, got it off over here handy to my right, got um, a cubicle with all my wood stuff in it, and uh, actually two with wood stuff, one with plastic, one with metal, one with glass, one with plastic, and so on, you know, got it all nice and organized, um, made room more to walk around, so... Let's see. I think I need to come back to some more. Thank goodness this is on rollers. Don't go off. Okay. So that you see my head. Let's see. Oh, I think you could see my head. Okay. All right. Hello, Barb. Thank you for joining and sharing with your friends. I appreciate that. Hello, Yvette. Thank you for posting in the VIP your craft today. Um, so I'm hoping maybe tomorrow I'm going to kind of chill out and rest. Um, I may do um, some craft as well because I got some other things uh, up my sleeve, um, which I got to get my supplies out of the car. I haven't unloaded the car yet, but it's going to be using salt and pepper shakers um, from Dollar Tree. Um, so, I, I know I posted that I was going live to do a mason jar, but I changed it because what I wanted to do wasn't going to fit. So, I've now changed it to this um, Dollar Tree Quacker Square um, wooden tag, and it's got the cork on the other side, but we're going to use this side. So, and we're going to use um, some canvas that we tore off one of the 8x10s. We're going to use that. We're going to use this frame that I have left over from the General Dollar where we had that chicken wire and an animal in there. We're going to use that with this canvas. We are going to use our napkin that I got from Amazon. Our fall, I guess you I guess it's fall, I don't know, but it's my colors. <laughs> We're going to use that. We're going to use a little dragonfly in the bow. We're going to be making a bow. We're going to be using a little raffia. We're going to be using a sticky notepad for our message board. I'm going to be using a stamp on the canvas that I got from Hobby Lobby that says thankful, grateful, blessed. That's going to go on the canvas in our brown ink. Um, we're going to be using some magnets so it sticks on the refrigerator. These are from Dollar Tree. In the Crafter Square, you get 12 magnets. Um, and Mod Podge white plaster that we're going to put on here. I'm going to take the hanger off of here because we're not going to be hanging it. Um, so I'll just toss that. And so we're going to um, go ahead and put a coat of white plaster on there just so the napkin shows up well, okay? Um, let me plug my iron in because we're going to Mod Podge the napkin using the iron. So let me plug that in. And let me go ahead and turn on my glue 
Joy hasn't hopped on yet. She usually reminds me, but um, I already got it. How many of y'all are like me when you, um, if you write a list of groceries down on paper, um, you can leave that list at home accidentally, but you'll remember what you wrote on the list. But if you didn't make a list, you'll get to the grocery store and forget something. Um, I'm that kind of person. So I made Joy my accountability person to remind me to turn the glue on. And because I did that, I usually remember that she's going to remind me. So um, we're going to use a medicine bottle, which I have um, cut off the back part of it. There's, you know, the part where you press it to unlock the lid. I cut that off with my wire cutters. And I sanded the edge where the, the little groove is to, to screw on so that this will be flush to hot glue on here to hold your pencil or pen and all that. Okay? And I would have been on sooner, but I could barely get my white chalk paint open, so I had to do some cleaning up take the lid to the sink and wash it and all that I have now lubed it with Vaseline so I think from now on when I get a new bottle of chalk paint I'm gonna go ahead and open it and go ahead and lube the lid and my bottle that's what I think I'm gonna do which I bought some chalk paint this weekend which is crimson because I think we're gonna use that for Christmas so I'm gonna do that bottle very soon so let's see look at there how easy that opened I cleaned my lid okay um, let's see I guess I better I don't want to mess up my pretty board my lazy Susan my husband got me so let me just go ahead and put some paper towel down and uh, hopefully save it as long as I can is this thing on? Yep, it's on. Okay. So let's get this. So what's everybody been doing? I'm just going to pour some of this, I think. Okay. I may have gotten too much. some of that back in there. Feels so good to get this office organized. Now I've got the paperwork to do. And I may do that Monday. Say hey when you hop on. We're making a kitchen message board um, to go on the refrigerator. Um, I am always looking for a piece of paper and my junk drawer. I have, I use uh, some of those organizers that I think come from Dollar Tree, you know, where you get the, the long, shallow, um, I think you get three in a pack or something. So, I have usually pens and markers, but um, it would be much easier for when dads need to make a note. He's always wanting to take down measurements of something or whatever. Um, it makes it nice to have a sticky note handy. And if I had a chalkboard, 
The only one I got is a birdhouse that's kind of got the chalkboard. Um, you could even put a chalkboard at the bottom of this to write on and put maybe the menu, you know. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the edges with what I got left here. Since it's gonna be on the refrigerator and you'll see the edges. Trying to get it without dipping again. Mm, barely. Let's see. Now the bottom. Okay. in the in the water okay all right let's put a quick dry on that be sure to do this parts if you like what you see. Continuous hearts is like giving an applause. You know what I was going to do was, let's see, I think I, what I'm going to do is do this Mod Podge in two separate parts. Um, because I want my pretty flowers to show at the top. Because it's going to be covered a lot. Let's see, how is this going to be? It's mostly going to be covered. Um, maybe the bottom I should do all in this. everyone thank you for joining me if you would please say hey when you hop on and let me know who's watching so I can tell you hello let's see we are making a kitchen message board it's four and a half what I'm going to do let's just go ahead and use this pencil here I'm marking it four and a half inches. Let's see, let's put it this way. Ah. There it goes. Four and a half.
I know most people eyeball it, but you know what? I got this right here, so why not? Okay. And so I'm going to put this like right here. And we're going to use this canvas to go at the bottom for the other part of it. Okay. So I'm going to dip my fingers in Mod Podge. Tap them together, and there's one. Uh, two. So this is a two ply. Okay. So this might come in handy for something. Okay. Now. Get our Mod Podge. I'm using my large dabber from Dollar Tree. Comes in a package of three, I believe it is, of different sizes. And we're going to do the iron method. So you can put this on pretty good and spread this out. I love the iron method. I am not so good at the wet method. Make sure the edges are good. Good. Let's try. Okay. Now, I'm going to place this where I want it. Just right here. Okay. I think that is going to look awesome right there. Start in the center, go up, down, up to the side like a plus, and then work it out the rest of the way. made my own with those diamond cosmetic emery boards from Dollar Tree. When it got wore out, I um, used some Gorilla Glue in the tube, adhesive bond, and I made my own, put it on both sides. I peeled the black off first of the, the emery board. Then I put the Gorilla Glue and put it on, put my uh, 
sandpaper on there and I put paper clips down each side and set it and forgot it and come back and they're awesome. Because I have a lot of sandpaper here, so why not use it? And it works great. This is the course. And you can also save your, well anyway, talk about that another day. Probably just sanded my paint off. No, it's still there. Okay, so here's how it looks right now. Now the hole in the center, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to cover it anyway. I'm going to have a bow up here, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Okay? Alright, let's see. I don't think I'm going to use any more of this, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Now, I'm wondering if I can Mod Podge this. I think I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it where the crease is, where it was around that wooden frame. I'm wondering if I should do this side or if I should do this side. Tell me out, people. Oh, yes, Barb. Um, yes, I like to save. And I'm wondering if I should do this frame in a, maybe a light blue, like this flower. Um, this here's a pretty, let's see, I've got summer sky, let's see, or would it be this one, sky blue, let's see. I may have to do a little mixing. And then I can do a white, a white dry brush on it. Um, goodness. Sometimes those tags will tear off. Okay. Okay, and I guess I should take I should probably take this uh, wire off. I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and take these staples out because I want this to go flush on my board. Um, they usually come out pretty easy. And I guess I could have prepped this before going live. I'm sorry guys. There's always going to be something you notice that you should have done before you went live. Okay. Now remember, save these, because that's what I used to make my curlies on my pumpkins on this right here. I made my curlies. You'll have two curlies on there for pumpkins. later. Okay, I'm trying to use strike pen and not my floor. <laughs> Bam! 
Thank you, Barb. Even though I liked doing that on camera. And I'm surprised nobody ever said anything. Nobody said anything. Um... Well, I say they usually come out easy. How about this? This is making a liar out of me. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Try it from this side. Okay. Oh, Lord. Now I got this side. Um... I do have pliers, but sometimes you gotta get that flathead screwdriver up under it to grab it. There we go. Okay, it's sticking up. There we go. There we go. Now we got it put up. Here I am. I got paint on my thing, so I guess we'll be turning it over. We'll be turning that over. Okay, let me put this aside. So how many crafted today? I know we bet, huh? I was determined I was going to come on, regardless of how tired I was. I never sat down today other than going, let's see, did I go out? Yes, I went to Walmart. Or no, that was yesterday. I only went out to get dinner. I was too tired to cook. I wish I had my sponge. You know, I got those sponges like you do for wall decoration where you sponge it on. They're over there in the closet. I would sponge this. Okay, and I'm going to do the inside edge. Oh, you just got kicked off. Huh. It hasn't it hasn't changed over here. It may be your internet, because I know we've had internet issues. Everybody is experiences other crafters are having to use their hotspot instead of their internet. It's just crazy out there. Crazy. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> is Let's see. You know what I could do? 
Let me try this. I think I could do this. Give it a better look. There we go. This way it doesn't show the strokes. Oops, did I get the... Nope. I did not get the... Well, I can do it with this. I'm going to put this away. In the water. Guys, I've been having hot flashes since I was in my 20s. I was 23 when I had to have a hysterectomy. <clears throat> 23 years old. And I used to be a cold-natured person. Oh, Joy, you did crafting all day. You know, usually Saturday is my day of rest. Um, used to, it was always Sunday. But um, I listened to a pastor, spirit-filled pastor, um, who said that he believes Saturday is the day of rest because just like on a calendar, Sunday is the first day of the week. Sunday. So Sunday through Friday is six days of work. Saturday is the day of rest, and Sunday is your day to start working again and going to church and doing all your chores and all that kind of stuff. So, And I don't judge anybody who does it however you want. That's totally up to you. I'm just telling you how I usually do Saturday, or try to. I try to, not always. Um, but um, anyway, so to me, Sunday is the first day of the week, and just like pastors, that when they're preaching on Sunday, they're working. That's not their day of rest. Because they're working. And you know, doing a live is a lot of work. And I'm sure putting that message together and making sure everything is ready for Sunday service is very, um, you know, stressful. It's work. For that little bit of time. Just like going live. I was trying to make sure I had everything out. And go put the lipstick on and I didn't even go wash my glasses, so I'm seeing my dirty glasses in that light. <clears throat> but, um, it's a lot of work. I think this color is good. This is, um, Apple Barrel Sky Blue. What I used to do when my kids were little, when I was all full of energy, <coughs> is what I did childcare in my home. So on Fridays, I would start my chores on Friday, making sure all the laundry is done. Of course, my kids, you know, they started doing their own laundry when they were 12. Um, but I made sure, you know, sheets are changed, all the laundry's done, everything. And I would clean house Friday night, so my weekends were free not to do all that kind of stuff. Now, I may do some yard work. I love doing yard work, and I always did yard work on the weekends. That just makes my day. I had another follower tell me today. <clears throat> I had another follower tell me that she loved my crafts to keep them coming and just made my day. Um, okay, 
because I have felt like giving it up, you know? You always have those moments. Okay, so I think I'm gonna dry brush a little brown um, to kind of pick up in the, not that one. That make pretty one? No. I think this one. Oh, that's burnt umber. Okay. We'll go with burnt umber. What is this one? That says burnt umber too. I got burnt umber in different... Um, where's the milk chocolate? Chocolate brown. I think I'm going to go chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. And... I'm going to use my um, chippy brush here. Get another. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Looks a little more red than I wanted. Let's see. Hmm. I don't really like that. Sorry guys, I don't like it. Oh, thank you, Joy. Yes, you are very faithful. Very faithful. In fact, Joy, you need to send me your address. If you'll private message me your address, I'll send you something. I listened to a crafter today that, or actually it was last night or this morning. Anyway, it doesn't matter when. Just just this morning or last night. And she said, I forget what she called the list. The brain list, the brainstorm list, or something like that. All the things that you need to get done around the house. You know, not a to-do list, but a brain list. Brainstorm list. So, I started making my list today. And, uh, so you want, you know, each day try to pick three things. Mm -hmm. Try to pick three things that you feel you can get off of that list today. Right? So I have this office. I have some doors that need to be finished painting. Like I have one coat on them and I haven't did the other coat. Um, clean out my car and um, just different things um, that need to be done. And so I started that brainstorm list. That way you've got everything in front of you, right? That needs to be done. Now my sister-in-law in the San Antonio, New Brunswick area, um, she has a notepad, a notebook, oh Lord, I got too much there, um, that stays in the kitchen. That's basically what this, this list I'm talking about. Um, and my brother looks at it. He looks at that list to see what him, and they have two sons, which are now married and have kids, but when they were still at home, They'd look at that list to see what can they do to mark off stuff off mom's list. So I, that's my tip for y'all tonight. Make that list and then, you know, if your husband says, hey, what can I do to help you this weekend? What would you like to get done? You can look at that list and say, look, honey, I started this list. Do you think you could do this for me this weekend? And it's okay if you don't, but if you want to, <laughs> if you want to, you can do this. And you know, my son is very crafty and 
since I watched the twins for him, um, I will get him to do things for me. I feel like, you know, I do for you, you do for me, kind of thing. So I'm going to cut this right here and tear it. Because see, I like the way it fringes out like that. But let's see. Not that I'm going to have the fringe show because this frame is going to cover it pretty much. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me get this moved over. Now I need to do the sides. I guess I'm just going to cut. So I'm just kind of making a crease by folding it over. Has anybody Mod Podge this stuff on? I'm going to hope it works. So here we go. And I'm going to put it on wet because I don't think this will wrinkle. You know, Mary Kay, she always called, I used to sell Mary Kay many years ago. Um, she called it the million dollar list. And she always said, make a list every day of 10 things and put them in order of importance. The 10 things. So, and I don't know about y'all, but when I did it, there's something about making that list that you want to conquer that list. And you will work as quick as you can to get that stuff on there done. Just like meal planning. If you meal plan before you go to the grocery store, you won't spend as much money. It looks like it's drying fast. I'm going to daub it like this. If you meal plan for the week, you will not spend as much money usually. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and give you all another tip. Uh, one of the things that I did when my kids were little, because I because I worked from home doing childcare, um, I was able to, you know, cook and do things and plan and all that kind of stuff. But um, <clears throat> oh, my pantry! I lost my train of thought. My pantry. I organized it and labeled my shelves, you know, how many cans of green beans and corn and carrots and so on and so forth, even though some of my vegetables were frozen. But, um, <clears throat> so I stocked my kitchen with what I needed. So when my list, like on this board, my grocery list, um, it was only to write down what I used. So if I opened a can of carrots tonight, I wrote that on my list. If I used two cans of tuna, I put tuna on my list. And so basically I went to the store just to replace what I used. So there's tip number two tonight. Saturday is bonus, okay? All right, so that's gonna go there. <clears throat> So let me go ahead and get this glued on. Uh, 
Hello, everybody. I know there's some watching that hasn't said hello. Welcome, welcome. Please let me know who's watching so I can tell you hello. And thank you. We're making a message board for the kitchen, which I guess y'all know that because that's what the post said, right? <clears throat> I think this is going to be so cute. Hi, Amy. Thank you for saying hello and welcome. Is this your first time watching, Amy? And where are you from? Okay, I'm holding that down. Okay, all right. Here's how it's looking so far. Oh, I see. We have a dog and a cat, too. And three chickens. Three hens. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put that in my water. Okay, let's try my new stamp. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball it, guys, and hope I get it in the center. Thank you, Barb, for welcoming Amy. That's so sweet. El Paso, Texas. I've been to El Paso many times. Um, my ex-in-laws used to live there. And when I was in the oil uh, recycling business, we would travel in our 18-wheeler. In fact, I drove an 18-wheeler. Because you could put it on autopilot, auto, what? Cruise control, sorry. You could put it on cruise control, and my husband got back in the sleeper, and I took the wheel. <laughs> I didn't know if I got pulled over, I could lose my license. Can you believe you'd go to sleep while I was driving? Oh, my. Oh, my. Yes. So, we'd go and pick up oil. And my ex-husband still does that and has somebody there that runs that part of the business there. Okay. I don't know how long you have to do this. I'm pressing hard. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It doesn't look like it's brown on there. Let's see. Did I? Yeah. Timber, timber brown is what I used. Timber brown. Let me show y'all so far. What do you mean, where am I? Terry, where are you? I'm in Houston. Houston, Texas. I'm in Houston, Texas. Can y'all see that? Okay. There's that. All right. Done with that. Okay. Now, um, we got to put our, our sticky note on here. Yes. Okay, yes. Y'all could see that good. You know, I think my camera is better using the rear camera, even though I can't see the screen up there. Plus, you can read things properly, like this now. I thought, you know, there should be a way. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have to glue this or not, but let's see. Where do we want this? Oh, yeah, I, gotta, I need to, I need to paint this, don't I? We don't want it like that. I don't know if I should Mod Podge this. I should probably Mod Podge it since it's gone in the kitchen. I guess. Is that going to make it? Hmm. Hopefully the glue will stick. That's all I can say. I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge. Going ahead. 
so it seals it. Good enough, good enough. Now I'm going to close this up. Okay. And I'm going to put that in the water. Thank you, Joy. I was reading your mind. <laughs> okay, I think I'm through with the Mod Podge. Okay, and I'm going to just use this. Okay. Um... I need to do something with this. It's going to hold my pencil or pen or both or my magic marker is another thing I need in my kitchen all the time because I do the seal -a meal for my meats and um, so I'm always needing a marker. So this is going to hold the, mil the marker, the pencil, and a pen I think. Um, I think I'm going to do the white plaster on there. Tell me who you are. Oh, I probably shouldn't have rang that bell. I think my dad's in bed. He didn't get a good nap today, so he goes early. I think what I'm going to do is put some napkin on this. But I'm going to put this white on here just so that that napkin shows up. Guys, today I have had so many men on Instagram. Oh, Lord. They're out there too much. Too much and one of them offered me seven thousand dollars a week to let him be my sugar daddy mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so <laughs> I sent him a picture of my dad and my dad doesn't have his front teeth he was all <laughs> I said this is me without my makeup he said well I just need somebody to talk to and then I sent him this, um, this other picture I have that says something about men on Facebook that are like him trying to connect with women and what have you. And then he told me, F you. <laughs> uh, my dad said, well, maybe you should tell him to send the first 7,000 as a, uh, I forget now what he said. make sure he's good on his word <laughs> yeah I just block them I just figured out how to how to block them today on Instagram It is, crazy people. You know, and I don't think, I mean, I don't think they're looking for that relationship or whatever it is, they're, you know, that kind of way. I think they're scammers. You know, that's the way I look at it, as scammers. Very sick people. 
Okay. I'm going to let that dry. Good enough for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot too because my dad has to have prescriptions filled every 90 days pretty much. Um, so, same. So, I've been, I got my little bin over here with all my plastics. Um, okay, let me throw a dry on here. I love this. That is just so pretty. wanted to you could take a um, black and do some little designs around the outside of it or you know the outside edge where you do some dot dots and some lines and so on um, and I may do that uh, let's see I thought I had some leftover napkin I guess I crunched it all up okay we'll do another one I'm being wasteful. I didn't save that, but I cut off. Okay, I guess I'm gonna need some Mod Podge. Beads, yeah. Half beads will look pretty. I'd have to paint them. Let's see. I guess I should have said that too. Let's see. Using the wrong scissors. Where'd they go? There they are. Let's see how straight I can get this. What I'm going to do is fold this over. Well, actually, it's not going to take very much, so I guess it's not going to matter. Let's do it. I'm just going to eyeball it, guys. Just going to eyeball it. Pretty sure that's going to be enough. Yeah. Oh yes, I have. I have the pearl ones. Yes, I have pearl. I have the pearl ones. And I have these half beads. These right here. I love how organized everything is. Okay, let's see if I can keep it that way. I've been, I've got my drawers cleaned out, underwear, closet, everything. Everything. Junk drawer. Now, the, the refrigerator. I got the refrigerator on my list because my cleaner lady comes Tuesday. So where I sand it off to make that flat, can y'all see that? Where it's flat so I can glue it on the board. I had to take that edge off. I had to sand that. My wire cutters took the part where you press the button to 
press the plastic thing. So, so I'm going to make that my back. Let's see. I think this bottle is not, that bottle is not exactly, I think it's a little fatter than the bottom maybe. Now, uh, let's see. I'm just going to use one of these. This one's about had it. I'm going to cut that off. Let's see how this does. Yes, I could paint them. Okay. But, I don't want to be on here too long, so I just wanted to make it kind of a quick, but we'll see. Let's see. All right, I got me a piece of plastic right here. A little zip lock that something come in. Oh wow, that makes it nice, guys. You put that plastic on so you can use your finger to rub over this and make it smooth. Very nice. And of course, you know, I'm at the bumpy part of the napkin that's on the edge of it, you know. But it's okay. I like it. In fact, those little bumpy things are rubbing out. Wow. That is pretty cool. Y'all see it? Yes. Yes, this right here, I will also glue some uh, sandpaper. I'll glue some sandpaper on it. And in fact, I have another one to do as well that's over here. I will probably do those tomorrow. Okay. Now, let's see. Thank you, Barb. Okay. I'm so excited I have a Barb because the, the crafters that I follow, they all have a Barb that's on every one of them. And I'm wondering if it's the same Barb that watches all three of the ones that I hear. Um, the Shabby Tree, the Celebration Company, and the Shabby Tree, or Shabby Tree, Oh, Southern Crafter or something. Anyway, they all three have a barb. And there she's on like early. And she sends happy mail to all of them. And so, uh-oh, I need to paint my bottom again. Some of my paint come off. I love Kayla too. She is very, very talented. 
very talented. In fact, I get ideas from her, and of course I try to change it up because they say, or at least my coach, my coach with Refab, um, she said if, if you change it up 20%, it's your own. So that's what I try to do. Um, I need to put some more paint on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and dirty up all my brushes. There is, um, there's so many crafters um, out there. Goodness, a lot of crafters. In fact, one of them's on vacation right now, going to all kinds of national parks and videoing while she's gone, and I think it's great. She had 10,000 people watching, and uh, she's still making money while she's on vacation, and she's still doing crafts. She tries to do one a day while she's on vacation in her travel trailer. Um, so last night she was doing it at a picnic table at the KOA camp, and that's my dream. That's my dream is to travel one day and be able to do what I love. Okay, now here I am touching it again while it's still wet. Okay, stop. Okay, let's just stop. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. Where's my back? Right there. I think I'm going to put that there. that there and then have my bow now if you wanted to you could do a tablet if you have a small tablet you could put there so okay here we go I'm doing it I'm doing it we'll see how well this goes And I'm going to go ahead and do this too. Because you know what? Usually you can peel your hot glue off. So here's how it's looking so far. Now we gotta make our bow. Oh, we gotta put our, I need to put my magnets on first. So I should have done that before I put the, um, the bottle and all this stuff on there. But let's go ahead and put our magnets. Yes, she does. She sure does. Of course, she's doing clothing and all that. Not all of her lives are, are cracked. And I love their family. I love their family. I just sometimes have to turn the volume down. Uh, because I am noise sensitive and... I love her, and she is very high strung. And uh, so, you know. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you, Amy. And I think I'm gonna put five magnets. just to make sure. And my refrigerator is black, so I think it'll show up really nice.
and it's easy enough <gasps> Oh, good. And it's easy enough for the cleaning lady to take it off and put it back on. Now I gotta clean out my refrigerator because she, when I say clean it out, I mean throw away stuff, you know? Because she cleans inside of it. So I gotta throw away the food. Yes, loud. Um, I think I'm going to put one in the middle. Okay. Now, let's make a bow. Yeah, my thankful, grateful, bless looks kind of gray, not brown. Not brown, but anyway. Okay. Yes. Um, I have another one, too, that... I don't know if that's Valentine or what. Easter, maybe? This one... Oh, yeah, this one was this, so... Okay, now I'm thinking on my bow, I'm just going to do a simple, and I guess you call it simple bow, I don't know. Simple bow. I remember the days, man, my daughter and I, we would sit there and make those big bows for our Christmas tree, to make big bows, like, let me see. Oh, I got it tied, I've got it tied on there. I have them in my pencil tree over here. They're in the plaid, the red and green and whatever plaid. And I made them, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Looks like five loops on each side. And man, our fingers would get tired of holding. Now they have bow makers that you can um, use to hold that. <clears throat> And take this apart. I'm going to end up knocking that off again. I think I'm through with the iron. Let's set that up over there. I think that's enough. Put that back over there. I need a drink. Root beer. My daughter wants me to give up drinking my root beer. My diet root beer. She drinks water all day. I, I can't do it. Can't do it. Okay. You got it and you haven't put it together yet? That sounds like something I would do. Joy, you and I have so much in common. Like, I go buy stuff at Dollar Tree and stuff, and I just leave it in the car until I'm ready for it. My daughter, she has to put everything away right now. <laughs> yes, this A&W Diet Root Beer is the bomb, because I don't like diet drinks either. But when I was... Uh, getting off of sugar, I was able to do that because um, I love Big Red, but that is way too much caffeine. If I have any caffeine past 10 o'clock, I can't go to sleep. Mm -mm. Keeps me up. Let's see. Thank you for the hearts. Um, yes, we do. Um, okay. What am I tying this together with? I don't think I thought about that. Um, let's see. Should I use this? It's 
since I'm going to put that. I'm talking to myself. I think I'm going to use this hanger that was on there. Maybe. Okay, I'm just doing a simple bow. I know this, I don't know if that glue is going to throw this off, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, I'm just, this is kind of wider, Let's see. but we'll go with it. We will go with it. Hi, Sandy. Thank you for joining us. How are you this evening? Hope you've had a wonderful Saturday. I think that's going to be right enough, yeah. This is where we are so far, Sandy, on our message board for the kitchen to go on my refrigerator. It's out of the tag from Dollar Tree. With that cork, cork board on the back, but you know they have many tags of all sorts. Okay, let me tie this on the back. Yes, you put them in a in a scraps container. Yeah, I have a pencil container that I throw pieces of rope left over, nautical rope, and all this kind of stuff. But I did throw this one in the trash just because I just cleaned my space and, you know. Okay. All right, let's just play with that. I love the pumpkins, adorable, yes. Just hung out at home and made fresh, <gasps> fresh blueberry pie. That sounds so yummy. Well, my dad made, and he loves to cook. Um, it's funny, when he was married, he didn't, do, he didn't do much of the cooking. But when he's single, he cooks. But he made um, banana pudding. He made um, pinto beans yesterday and canned eight jars of pinto beans. So when we want pinto beans or chalupas, they are ready to go. I mean, just open them, heat them up, and um, smash them, process them. But he made also banana pudding and he made, um, what do you call those, um, those red sugar patties with the peanuts in them? What are those called? He made those yesterday. Hmm. Where's my... I had a, um, here it is, my, um, what do you call that? Dragonfly. I got a dragonfly here I was thinking of putting, so I may not do the raffia. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let's see. I don't know if y'all can see. Should I put the... Dragonfly like this, or should I put, and I may even turn this, should I turn the bow kind of sideways? Should I put, should I put the raffia? Should I put the raffia? Try the bow more in the white. More in the white. Oh, the 
the white part of the board. Is that what you mean, Sandy? Oh, you know what? We've got to have our pens and pencils. Hold on. Let me get those in there. I'm kind of liking it on the side. Yes, dragon and the raffia. Barb, okay. All right. Do y'all like this? Um, I'm going to put the bow off like this so it stays clear of the pen. Okay? So let me put that down first. Y'all make it so much more fun. Thank you, Joy. Okay. Okay, and let's put this on. Now I gotta hold it. Okay, now let's see. Okay, now we're going to put him right there. <clears throat> and I'm not painting him just because he matches, <gasps> he matches the um, neck. He holds you down. I'm going to hold him down. My glue came up through that hole, touched my finger. Some hot glue. It's still okay. That is so cute. Um I don't know if I should put any color on my dragonfly or not. Thank you, Barb. Thank you, Amy. And that's going to go on my refrigerator. And you need to make a note. You just grab it. You need a marker to mark your uh, seal -a mail bags or butcher paper or whatever. Back in the day, I used butcher paper. Um, but there we go. I think it's cute. Now, when I buy my post-it notes, I will make sure they match my board. So, I have yellow, hot pink. So... I think it's cute. Now, I mean, we could put, you know, you could put beads around this. There, There's so much more you could do to it and dress it up. But I'm afraid if I do too much more, it's going to look too busy. So, I think I'm going to leave it like it is. You know what I should have done was wrap this with raffia. Um, not raffia. What did I do with that? Um, twine. I should have did the top of that bottle with twine. Um, and I don't know if I can do it now, but let's see. Yes, they are. See, I should have went like that 
And now I'm going to have to use my little tumbler tool to get it in here because it's already glued to the board. But I definitely think that it needs it. So let me just do a few. The top of the brush, I just ordered paint pens today from Amazon. So I don't have any. I think three is going to do it. Okay. Three is going to do it for me anyway. So what I'm going to do is hold the three together and I'm just going to put me some glue right here. And I'm going to put that down and hold it for a second. Yes, I've had one. I sure did. I did that whole thumb. Probably changed my fingerprint on my thumb. But, um, and Joy told me to always have a cup of ice in here. And guess what? I've done it once or twice. Once or twice. Lavender oil. I have plenty of lavender oil. I've got a few bottles. I use lavender oil when I touch one and it can prevent it. Yes. I have all kinds of oils. I got a drawer full. That's what I use for an antibiotic. I use oregano. The Young Living Oregano. I put two drops in a vegetable capsule and I'll take it just like an antibiotic. And I can feel a difference within four hours. four hours. I do not like taking antibiotics and mess up my gut. Hi Lorraine. Welcome. You are probably going to need to watch the replay unless you've been watching and you're just now saying hello. I just now decided that it needed some wine around my pill bottle and uh, then, we're, then we're done. Then we are done. There. Now, doesn't that look better, guys? Around that pill bottle. See, my screen just shows me picking it up now. Yes. All right. I'm happy with it. So, now I'm going to, um, I'm going to write, I love you, on here. I love you guys. <laughs> you mean the world to me. And I pray for my followers. When I'm saying my prayers, I lift up all my followers to the Lord, and the Lord knows each and every need. And if you will, if y'all pray, lift me up in your prayers. Um, God knows my uh, needs and he's always been there for me and um, it's been a struggle lately um, in different ways but um, I know he's going to see me through it and 
I appreciate you guys and I appreciate you doing this right here to help me reach that thousand. That's my next goal. Um, when I get, from what I'm told, now I don't know how true it is, but I'm told when I reach a thousand and I have a thousand followers for 60 days, they'll turn on the stars and then people can start doing stars. So I don't know how true it is. So, but, um, but anyway, um, I will get, I will try and get on tomorrow and do, I've got several different ideas, but I think I want to do the salt and pepper shakers, the three salt and pepper shakers. Um, I just got to make sure I have everything put together that I'm going to do and my colors. So, um, I think that's going to be another one. It'll either, it can either be used say in a bathroom or a guest room or even the kitchen. It's, it'll be versatile. So. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate it very much. You know, when my grandmother was alive, I knew, I'm sorry, I knew that she prayed for me every day. And, you know, it just touches your heart when you know that there's somebody out there that lifts you up every day. And, you know, when my kids were little, I even prayed for their mates. Even though they were this little, I was praying for their mates because God knew who their life partner was going to be, and I prayed for them. And my daughter has an awesome, awesome husband. And, um, I mean, he does everything for her. And, um, and his mother was a single mom raising him and did an excellent job with him. But, um, Anyway, I don't know why I got this way, but I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, and um, I appreciate it, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. If so, give me those hearts, and, um, and I will try and jump on tomorrow, and blessings to you all, and um, we'll see you next time. And until then, if you want to, do a little crafting. Bye-bye.